Hey guys, it's Bronson, and in this video I'm going to talk about card quality and the printing of the three sets of Welcome to Wrath, Arcane Rising, and Crucible of War. Now, the first thing I'll talk about is in Crucible of War, on the very bottom, they put the rarity symbol, and they have like a C for common in a gray little circle for a common, whereas the other two sets had the set name, so it says WTR, and then it has the, the card number, and then it'll have dash C for common. Same with Arcane Rising, that's good to note. I really like that update in card quality, uh, not only because it will differentiate the alpha and then the beta printing from the unlimited printing, but also makes it so you can identify the cards a lot easier. So when you get that big pull, when you get that majestic, or you get that legendary, you easily see it on the bottom you your eyes instantly have a place to go and it's not only just a it's a it's not just a symbol it's a color which i like because if you see that yellow man you know you got a good card am i right or am i right so the next thing i'll talk about is the feel and the texture of each set and it feels the same it's the same material same printing from what i see same color on the back, same back. So this is, and honestly, this is a huge thing because when you select the back of your card, it's permanent. Like you don't want to, you don't want to switch around the back too much. Once you have it, uh, it's pretty set in stone. Another thing to note too is on the back, on these edges, there's a slight curl. That's something to note. This really doesn't mean anything. It's just a quality that all the sets possess. Another interesting thing, and I, this is the one that isn't really talked about much. I don't know if people have noticed or people just don't don't care. It, it's something I really don't care. I just wanted to explain the attribute. Is that the Arcane Rising cards versus the other two sets are are curled just slightly, just ever so slightly, and. It's hard to see on camera. I, I wish I could show it accurately. Oh, let, let me put like one card from, give me a sec. Welcome to Wrath up against Arcane Rising. I don't know if you can see that, but the Welcome to Wrath is, is pretty straight. All the Arcane Rising card is a little bit curled. Now, in, in any circumstance, this really isn't that big of a deal. Like... It's not like the card is like this. If it was like this, it would be a problem or, or something like this. It's just, it's it's very slightly curled. And to be honest, guys, I don't know if uh, Legend Story Studios has thought about this, but it kind of makes sense, right? It's arcane rising. <laughs> so the cards rise too, right? Huh? Huh? Uh. <laughs> I'll laugh. If I see that, if I see that in my news feed, like two weeks from now, like, oh, hey, th this was intentional because of this. I'm going to, I'm going to laugh pretty hard. And then another thing I noticed, and this will wrap it up, is that I know for Arcane Rising, I don't know about the other two sets, there is a, an extremely hard to see printing, uh, <sighs> edgeware i want to say but edgeware is is such a, a a crappy term for this because it's like if it on a rating of one to ten it's like a point three like it's barely visible but what i have noticed is when you get the card like this and you turn it to its side you usually see some uh like edgeware right here and it's it's this thick it's so it's so small of an area and the only way you can see it is when you put it in large stacks of cards but even then it's honestly pretty hard to notice and i don't think it's even showing up on camera that's how like crazy small it is i just wanted to give everyone uh, a heads up about it and let you know. I think as well, it won't be a big deal because when you're grading these, you're not grading, I'm not grading like a stack of cards like this. You're grading one card and there's no way someone's gonna see like a, a, a two, a little bit of edgeware. And beyond that, let's say, let's say you get like the best legendary card in a set or if you get the, uh, a Fable card and it has some edgeware at all, if you're unhappy with the product, Legend Story Studios is uh, an open book and they say, hey, 
180 days after the cards are printed, we are going to refund you uh, your card and they'll print a new one for you if it has any out of the box wear to it. So that's really important to note that they stand by their product and if they know that they have a defect in their print run, they will remedy it and they'll give you, uh, they'll do the best they can to give you the card that you should have gotten. So that ends it for this video. I hope it was more of informative. This is just the three main sets currently for Flesh and Blood, but all in all, the card stock is the same in each set, which is great. There's very slight variations, and then very, very slight other differences between the sets, like the slight curling, and then the uh, different color pink and the red, but all in all, it's really no big deal at all. I just wanted to make a quick video explaining the subtle differences so you'll know what to look for. Thanks for watching.